As we get closer to a vaccine for COVID, more questions surface about who will be required to get the vaccine. For example, can your boss make you get the vaccine at work? Well, Fox 13's Amy Sparopoulos is joining us uh, live now. And Amy, you sat down with a personal injury attorney to talk about this. So what's the verdict? Well, the simple answer uh, when it comes to can your boss fire you for not getting a vaccine is yes. There are so many questions out there right now, Ernie, and lots of folks are asking all of these questions. You know, attorneys tell me across the state, really across the country, that they are being bombarded with legal questions in this what they call COVID season. We sit da sat down with Quentin Brogdon, who answered all those questions. He says the phone is ringing off the hook in his law firm. He's been practicing law for some 30 plus years, helping people. He said there is a lot of gray area though that is what we need to keep in mind like what you do for a living what your state requirements are attorneys telling me tell me this is really really testing their legal system and right now something a lot of people are asking about but the answer uh, can you be fired the simple answer is yes what about wearing a mask well you can't be fired for not wearing a mask on the job but you can be fired for insubordination midst of a 100 year pandemic and it is testing our legal system like never before you have to begin when you're looking at the duties of employers to look at osha's requirement the occupational safety and health administration's requirement that employers provide a safe workplace for their employees now, another question that folks are asking, uh, can you be fired for going to a, a large gathering, not wearing your mask? Well, <laughs> you know, that's an interesting one. And like anything, uh, you know, different people may have different answers, but the bottom line is legality and proof. We're going to talk about that coming up this morning on Good Morning Memphis. We are live this morning. Amy Sparopoulos, Fox 13 News.